What is going on, YouTube? I am Prepper Princess, the author of Living on Almost Nothing. If you are interested in purchasing my book, I will go ahead and leave a link down in the description box below. Today, we're going to be talking about No Spend January. Some people call it No Spenduary. It, uh, I don't know if this is something that you all do, but it's all over all of the financial news. So it says here that bi from businessinsider.com, many social media users, users, not influencers, but users, have been pushing back on an online culture of consumption, overconsumption, sorry, overconsumption. Um, so people are pledging to embark on a no spend 2024. They plan to drastically cut spending in the new year and hold themselves accountable online. So maybe it is influencers and not users. I was looking up trying to find a percentage of how many people do a no spend January. I couldn't find any sort of percentage, but typically when a new year comes around, people will buy, buy gym memberships and work on their health. And then the second to that is working on their finances. Now there's a ton of benefits that come with a no spend January, a no spend month. And that is boosting your savings, more quality time together, eating healthier, accomplishing household goals, and using more creativity. I like the using more creativity. I just went to Safeway. I, so... I have three stores here now. We have a grocery outlet and I went to grocery outlet like on the day after opening day and I was really disappointed. Whenever I do a food video, people in the comment section get crazy. <laughs> like anything that has to do with food, people think that they know everything and they say, you eat so unhealthy. And I'm like, it's meat, vegetables, and a starch. That's it. I don't eat white bread anymore. I, I pretty much... I barely eat any carbs anymore. I never have prepackaged anything. I don't buy sodas, chips, crackers, cookies, ice cream. Uh, I, I don't buy any of that stuff. And people still have the audacity to tell me how unhealthy I eat. And I'm like, you guys are crazy. I make my own orange juice, lemonade, mixed berry juice. I make all of my own juices. I make my own soy milk. I mean, what what else can I do? But I went to Safeway today to, and a lot, some of this is for my homemade dog food, but um, it, it, like getting grocery shopping right now is, you, there's not really, you can't get steak for $1.99 anymore. I used to get tri tip for $1.99 at Winco. That doesn't exist anymore. And pretty soon I'm going to be running out of my turkey. So, on Thanksgiving, around Thanksgiving time, turkey goes to like 50 cents a pound. And I'll buy as many turkeys as I can put in my freezer. Unfortunately, my freezer is really small. I got one of the, I bought one of those um, top refrigerator freezers. So the top is a refrigerator and the bottom is a freezer. And the problem with the freezer is it's not trays, it's all drawers. And that that takes out a lot of space that you can use. So I was only able to buy one turkey this year and I couldn't even fit it in my freezer as is. I had to thaw out the turkey and cut it up into different pieces and then put it into the vacuum sealed packages and then vacuum seal them all and put them in the freezer and I was just getting ready to run out. I promise there's a point. So I go to Safeway and the the cheapest thing they had, they had like New York strip or loin strip for $4.98 a pound. And that's the cheapest I can get within three cities. $4.98 a pound and I got $22 worth, whatever that is. And that was the maximum I was allowed to buy. I put them in the, the vacuum seal packages and I was able to shove them in the in the freezer but that's about all I was able to get like to for five dollars or less everything else is in the eight to nine to twelve dollar range it's crazy and then of course I got some sweet potatoes and beans to make the dog's food along with using the turkey from Thanksgiving and I got half and half which is seven dollars it's 6.99 half and half for my coffee is seven dollars so I have been using less half and half in my coffee like there's no other way to save there. I'm, I'm not going to stop using half and half. I'm not going to switch it out for milk. That's not going to happen because it just, it makes the coffee t taste totally different. And I am a coffee snob. So 
seven dollars a week just for half and half is <laughs> crazy. I'm spending seven, fourteen, twenty-one, twenty, twenty-eight dollars a month on coffee creamer. That's more than I spend on coffee. That's more than I spend on coffee and sugar combined, which is crazy. And then ha- Haas avocados were eighty-eight cents each. I got two of them. I don't know, folks, saving money on the groceries. Anyway, so back to the no spend. So um, a lot of people do no spend January. A lot of people do a no spend year. I don't really participate in these things because my my life pretty much is no spend. I spend money on um, my, you, my bills, my utility bills, and I'm fixing up my house. You can't really see it because I've got it on a cinematic mode, but like parts of my ceiling are missing <laughs> because this is the next room. Uh, is the we're lifting up the ceiling because somebody dropped it. And I was able, you can't see it, but over here in the corner, I did take out a piece of wood and it's about six inches, six to seven inches that we're able to go up and got to get a new roof, whole bunch of stuff. But I, I don't spend money on non-essentials. I, I really don't. There's there's I'm not a materialistic person. I don't consider myself a consumer. I consider myself a citizen. And I just don't buy things like that I don't need. Like I don't, obviously, I don't spend any money on decorations. Um, I've got a TV and a heater. I've got a couch and, you know, a coffee table. I just don't understand what else there is. When it comes to things like like makeup, I get most of my stuff at the dollar store, which is now the dollar 25 store, most of it, except for my foundation. The foundation, I will go to either CVS or God forbid Walmart. I hate going to Walmart these days. Like Walmart is cheaper than CVS, but I'll spend the extra money just so I don't have to walk five miles to get to my makeup and then ask somebody to unlock the case to get the makeup and then have them stand over me watching me like I'm going to put it in my pocket and then go to self-checkout, check out myself, and then I have to wait in line to get out of the store because they have to check my receipt. Going to Walmart these days is like, I, I don't, in, it's not only that I don't enjoy the experience, I can't stand the experience anymore. So I'd rather just go to CVS or Walgreens, go in there, pick up my ma- makeup and get out. And and it saved me more than f- probably $5 just in time spent versus the Walmart thing. But sorry, I keep digressing. So I'm curious, you know, there's a whole bunch of articles out there. What can make your your no spend more successful? Um, a couple of tips are like get a library card, um, you know, check out local stuff that's happening for free, which is great. Fortunately, where I live, we have a lot of town things like one street over is the main street. I'm right off the main street and I'll go over there and I won't even know about it. But it seems like every month there's something going on down at main street where I'm able to meet people and talk to people and Maybe I'll buy a churro if I'm in the mood. Their churros are really good, by the way. But, you know, just sort of stuff like that, doing free things. I'll I'll go ahead and leave a couple of things at the end of this. Whenever I go, I go on one of my e-bikes because it's one block away. No no need to bring my car. I would probably have to park on my block anyway. But I'll take an e-bike and I'll go out and they're playing music. They're having bed races, um, some sort of like picking contest like it's an almond picking contest and whoever picks the most almonds wins a prize I don't know a whole bunch of different stuff and car shows and I do film sometimes these things but they don't really fit into any videos but it's all free entertainment and it's great I I, to me free is better than spending money and a lot of people don't understand how can you entertain yourself with no money that's impossible To be honest with you, it's been so long since I've gone out of my way to spend money on being entertained that I, I don't really relate anymore. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I don't like the things that you like. This is just me living my life. I don't like going to the movies, you know, sitting next to somebody, a stranger who's breathing really heavily out of, and then you've got the the old lady sitting behind you who's talking through the whole movie. Oh my God, don't open the door. No, don't go in there. Don't go there. Yeah, that happens almost every time. Or you've got a baby in the theater that's crying 
ruining the whole movie. And it's just, I don't like that stuff. I don't like going out to restaurants for so many reasons. Nowadays, I get a waiter or a waitress who is rude and I, and makes me feel like I'm, I'm taking up too much of their time. They're expecting a huge tip. They're super rude. The food is mediocre and small. Like you don't even get a lot of food. I would rather just cook at home. It's just, and then there's just, and then they've got the music blaring too loud and you're trying to talk to somebody across the table and you're like, how was your day at work? No, how was work? Work! (laughs) You're just yelling at people across the way and I don't like that stuff, so I don't do it anymore. And it's just, I prefer just doing free stuff. It's just better. So one of the things that I would recommend, of course, is a library card if you don't have them, but not only in addition to not spending, I think that everybody should take January, take this as the opportunity to improve your finances, like not just by not spending. Let's let's do a couple other things. Search for a bank account that has a high interest savings account that pays you to have money in your savings. I personally do Capital One and I think it's at, it's at like four point something percent, maybe 4.35, 4.5, maybe 4.85. But I'm a big Capital One online person. That's where my savings accounts are. Um, so it might be time to do some research and check out a bank, try and get some money, make some money off of the money that you already have, uh, time to shop for lower interest credit cards, or see if you can do a balance transfer to a zero transfer card. Some credit cards even pay you to become a card member. I've, I've done a video on credit card churning. You might want to look it up. Sometimes they'll pay you 250 bucks if you make a certain amount of transactions within a certain period of time. But given that this is a no spenduary, do that at the end of the January. <laughs> uh, time to make some phone calls to your insurance company. Switch your car insurance, your home insurance. Uh, your, even go shopping for medical insurance. Time to, time to do that. Time to call your student loan, your car loan. See if you can consolidate. See if you can get a lower interest rate. If they say no, ask for a supervisor. If they say no, ask for a manager. If they say no, say, okay, then I'm going to take my business elsewhere. And then they're going to be like, wait, hold on. Um, Time to switch your cell phone company. If you're paying 50, 75, 85, $150 a month, time to switch to Mint Mobile. I've had Mint Mobile for three or four years now. Never had an issue with it. $15 a month. My affiliate link is in the description. So check it out. I still use it. I still recommend it to all my friends, family, and all of you guys on here. Switch out the cell phone. Maybe it's time to ditch cable. I think that it's funny how people in these in these no spends say, I'm only paying for non-essentials, or I'm not paying for any non-essentials, but they still pay for cable. Interesting. Time to switch to streaming. Streaming is free. Uh, maybe go over your subscriptions, your Netflix, your Amazon Prime. See if they're things that you really need. Do you really need it? For me personally, Amazon Prime is not necessary because of freebie. Amazon Prime makes their own movies. There's like, uh, as an example, The Tomorrow War with Chris Pratt. That is an Amazon movie, like made specifically for Amazon members. But 98% of the movies on Amazon are free on freebie, which is a streaming app. And you can even go, even if you're not a prime member, you can go into Amazon on your TV, go into Amazon and then scroll down and you'll see right across the screen, free movies with ads, free movies with ads. Check them out. They're the same ones that they have for their prime members. I'm curious though. I don't, I've never had, I use Amazon prime when they offer a free month but I've never subscribed to Amazon Prime. And I never, next time I sign up, I'm going to check. Like if I'm doing Amazon Prime and I'm watching a movie, do they still show commercials? I'm curious about that now. I do have a free um, free offer here pretty soon. So I'm probably going to take advantage of it when I find a movie that I'm interested in watching. But I don't, I usually just do it for the free 30-day trial I'll probably catch up on everything for like the first three weeks and then I get bored with it and then I just unsubscribe or or whatever it is. Uh, Netflix, same thing. 98% of their movies are free on other channels like Roku, Freebie, Stir, 
film rise Tubi, pluto <laughs> it's all free on other other free apps 98 percent of the stuff that they make you will have a netflix thing that is particular to netflix like a uh, wednesday i don't know if that's the name of it but it's got wednesday adams in it or squid games like those are specifically made for net netflix members that would be like the 2% of them, but the other 98% are free on other stuff. So it's, it's a big thing. Um, do you, do you spend too much money on cleaning supplies? For me, I've got Comet in my bathroom and I've got Amazon pods for my laundry, which they sent to me by accident. So those were free. It was, they sent me a whole thing. They sent me air conditioner filters and garbage bags and a sourdough starter and vinyl gloves. I don't have an air conditioner that, <laughs> I don't have an air conditioner. I, I, I have no need for filters. And the sourdough starter I gave, oh, and they sent me dishwashing tabs. I don't have a dishwasher. <laughs> But I was able to use the, to save the garbage bags. So, and it's a huge box, huge box that they sent to me by accident. And they said, just keep it. But uh, the laundry pods were like, they were like $9. Now they're like $22. And then the laundry bags, I don't know how much those are, but I don't have to, anyway, sorry, I digress. Um, so I've got Comet and then I've got Imitation Dawn uh, dish soap on my dish, on my, on my, kitchen counter and you can't see them but for Christmas I got hand soap now to me for the most part soap is soap so when my dawn my imitation dawn dish soap runs out I'm gonna fill it with this hand soap because I've got they I got them as a gift I got four two of them are already I only have one bathroom so one's on the kitchen sink for washing your hands and one is in the bathroom on the sink for washing your hands and now I have two spares so I've got to use them up so what I'm going to do is just when I run out of dish soap I'm just going to fill my dish soap with the hand soap and use that on my dishes a lot of people are like oh my god that's disgusting no it's not <laughs> it's soap it's soap come on folks I mean if you want you can take a bar soap wrap it in a dish towel and do your dishes with that. I mean, it's soap. Who I, I don't know how people get so crazy about soap and germs and stuff like that. Um, are you spending too much money on clothing? I mean, I read somewhere that like the average is like now $150 per month per person what people spend on clothes. I honestly don't remember the last time I purchased any clothing. I don't, I don't recall. It's been that long. It's been that long. I don't, I really don't know. I have no idea. I mean, people used to wear clothes until they were threadbare. They don't do that anymore. They just wear them until they think they're out of style or they don't get that um, cool, hip, I'm awesome and pretty or cool looking feeling from their shirts. And then they just stop wearing them and buy new ones. I don't do that because I don't, my confidence doesn't come from my clothing. <laughs> you know? How often do you buy new shoes when you don't need to? You know, it's really funny. Just like some, if you have white tennis shoes, let's just use that as an example. Uh, you can buy white. Uh, it's kind of like a magic eraser, but it's not an eraser. It's, it's for shoes. It makes your shoes white again. So you throw them in the wash, washer and dryer, and then they're cleaner than they were before. And then you use the white shoe polish. Duh. So you use the white shoe polish. And sometimes if you want to go like all out, you can buy new shoelaces and that makes your new shoes look brand spanking new. So same with black shoes. Not, I mean, not a lot of people wear black shoes that like require shininess. Like that's very rare unless you're working in the office. But yeah, black shoe polish and a new pair of black shoelaces. And the shoe polish doesn't just work for like one shoe. I mean, it works for years and years and years. And you know, a new pair of shoelaces is like three or four dollars. That's a lot better than sixty dollars for a new pair of shoes. Uh, shampoo and conditioner. I mean, I have one bottle of shampoo, one bottle of conditioner, VO5. I'm sure I probably got them at the dollar store, but Walmart sells them for cheaper. They're still like 88 cents on the bottom shelf, VO5 at Walmart. I, I even add water. Oh my goodness. I, so I get like more than. 88 cents worth or whatever it is. My hair doesn't care. It's just soap. Soap is soap to me. 
soap is soap, but people go all crazy over cleaning products. Um, I think that here, here's a little tip for y'all. Here's a little tip for y'all. Okay, I don't buy paper towels either. I use just washcloths and I reuse the washcloths all the time. For dinner napkins, I have separate dinner napkins that I just use for dinner for wiping my mouth and they all go into the wash and then they're clean. What was I getting at? Paper towels, kitchen. Okay, yeah, so here's the saving thing. So washcloths instead of paper towels. And then people say, well, what about washing windows? Uh, uh, okay, so you can buy a pack of microfiber cloths for like five for $3. And they can also be washed and used again. So when I'm washing my car, uh, I use the microfiber towels or washing my windows, I use the microfiber towels totally streak free. And I only have to use water. I don't have to use any soaps. I do use sometimes a mixture of imitation Dawn and water, but for the most part, you can do it with just water. You don't even need soap to clean windows because you've got the microfiber cloth. Um, and then you can wash them and reuse them. I think I have like five. I bought a pack of like 30 when I lived in Arizona and I still have like I don't know. I th I'm pretty sure I threw away a lot of them because I bought too many. And I bought like a pack of like, I swear it was like 50 or 60 for like nine bucks at, at Lowe's. Crazy cheap. And it la it can last you the rest of your life. It can. Can last you the rest of your life. So, you know, don't focus so much on the soap, but what you're using to clean. Just a little tip there. That's what I do. That's what I do. And... Yeah. I mean, just for one month out of the year, you know, you're you, you overspent in November and December, maybe spent a little too much on Christmas presents. Time to cook all of your meals from home, entertain yourself at home, just pop in a movie. If you have a DVD player, just pop in one of your old movies every night, do it every night, read a book, play on the internet. I mean, I think, I don't really think that we're short on entertainment these days. I think that there's so many free options. It's crazy. On the weekend, see if you can find a trail in your area, go for a nice, nice little nature walk, maybe bring a camera with you, take some photos. And then after your one month is over, you can maybe develop the photos on that one online site. My aunt and uncle always do it on that site. There's a site where you can do it for like 50 cents. You just upload the photo onto your thing and then you send it to them and they charge you like 50 cents. And then a week later you get your photos. That is if you don't have a photo printer. If you have a photo printer, it's free. Hey, or photo paper on a printer. I'm not super, I have a printer, but I'm not super familiar with how, how photo printing works. But I think if you just use photo paper, it probably works out. But yeah. Go take some nice, uh, nice photos and make yourself some artwork for free. Use some frames you've already got. That'll work. These are just a few of my saving tips. And through the year of 2024, man, being frugal, saving money in 2024 is going to be totally necessary. It, it I'm just, I'm seeing it in the economy, like it's not reflecting in the stock market, but I'm seeing it in my local economy where people are looking, I don't understand because everybody's got a high help wanted sign, but people are like, I can't find a place to work. And it's like, well, uh, Home Depot is hiring for 18 or 19 an hour. Um, you know, the grocery store is hiring right now. Oh, well, I don't want to do minimum wage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> minimum wage is better than no wage, but whatever. But I'm seeing people getting more and more desperate for uh, high paying jobs. And people are starting to sell a lot of their stuff. And I'm seeing a lot more, a lot more yard sales. I know that, it, I know that a lot of it has to do with the weather, but you know, I'm seeing a lot of yard sales, a lot of stuff on Facebook Marketplace where people are selling stuff that's just like, you know, leftover junk. It's just stuff. You know, kids' clothes, uh, old shoes, just anything they can to get a couple dollars. And I'm also noticing, you know what, that's for another video. So, um, all right, everybody, I, I am wishing you the best of luck on your upcoming no spend month. And I Hopefully, maybe, maybe we can do it for two. I think we should do it for two. 
My whole life is a no spend. What am I talking about? Good luck, everybody. Do what you can with what you've got. Prepper Princess out. Oh, it's fine. You go. You go ahead. You're fine. I'm short enough. <laughs>